all day long I've been thinking about this very weird dream I had last night and so I decided to record it and share it with all of you. So I dreamt that my parents asked me to meet them in Manhattan for a business meeting. That was about 30 years too late. But anyway, I said, okay, and I decided to drive in. And I drove into Manhattan and I was lucky to find a good parking spot and went to the meeting and the meeting was really successful. And then after the meeting, they were walking me back to my car, except they couldn't remember where I parked my car. And so we were walking up and down different streets, looking for my car. My car was nowhere to be found. And, and the kind of weird thing is that as we walked, we were going in and out of people's apartments and I was commenting on their decorating skills, which was weird too. But anyway, after a long time of wandering like this, we couldn't find the car and mom said, oh, don't worry about it. We'll just tell the police to look for it and they'll notify you where it is and then we can go back and get it. And I thought that's strange because don't the New York City's finest have other things to do besides look for my car, but okay, you know, why not? And then I woke up and I woke up with this terrible, terrible headache that took hours to finally get rid of today. And I looked up the meaning of, of a dream like that. And what I learned is that when you have a dream where you can't find something and you keep looking for it and looking for it, it very often has to do with a feeling of being overstressed. Um, and it's that old perfection illusion gone awry again trying to keep it together, trying by myself to, to keep it all in line. And it came out in my thoughts in the middle of the night that I couldn't find my car. So taking that to we're not finished yet. I'm trying, I'm trying, we're keeping it together. We're getting our videos and messages out to you. But I think we all need to put our collective wishes in that Krista's husband continues on his course of recovery and Krista's well enough to come back and record with me soon. Because Krista, my friend, we miss you. See ya.